Creating better interfaces. What makes a good interface? An application programming interface, or an API, is essentially a contract between two parts of a program. An interface describes how to interact with a component or a package. What are the available types? What functions can you call? Which conditions are allowed and which are not? And when talking about APIs, most of the time what we mean is third-party libraries that our application reuses. However, API is not just about that. A typical application would depend on quite a few interfaces. However, if you remember the previous section, every application consists of many, many packages, and every package has a public part, and that part essentially is the package's API. And if you dive deeper, then every class has a public part as well, and that is also a kind of interface. There are many interfaces within every application. And just like the user interface is for the end users, API is an interface for your fellow developers. How your API is structured is going to determine how your code is going to be reused. So what makes a good interface? A good interface, first and foremost, provides a minimally complete model for the subject domain. For example, a networking API will provide abstractions for sockets or messages. However, it will not provide anything for threads because, well, the minimally complete part. And also, a good API is explicit. And as much information about internals as you need to know is visible through the interface. A good API meets users' expectations. That means it's consistent, it's precisely and strongly typed. That is, you're not using void pointers to pass data. And also, a good interface clearly describes what the available states are what are the allowed pre- and post-conditions for every function call. And last but not least, a good interface provides a decent non-leaky abstraction. What do we mean by leaky abstraction? Well, abstraction, by definition, hides implementation details. But sometimes, even though implementation details are hidden, they begin to leak. For example, std vector provides a really good abstraction for a dynamically sized array. However, in practice, when working with std vector, you have to be really cautious about how it uses the memory, otherwise you might run into performance problems. Interfaces are so important that the C++ core guidelines dedicate an entire section to them. You surely remember the Pareto principle. 20% of your code defines 80% of your application's behavior, and 80% of the 20% is the interface.